Hi, what is up guys? This is David back again with another video. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make a Facebook profile video for your page. If you like this video, click the thumbs up down below and consider subscribing to see my next video. And also check the description for more information about this tutorial. Let's get started. So here we are in Premiere Pro CC 2017, where I have a new project that I named Facebook Profile Video 2017. A Facebook Profile Video uh, can only be seven seconds long, and it is a square format, and it you know that works best. So we're gonna create a square seven second video that has a perfect loop in it that you can post on your Facebook profile and have a video instead of a regular profile picture. First step is to create a sequence. So right here, without any media, it's gonna do right click, new, sequence. And I already have the preset, but we're gonna just go into settings on a new sequence it's gonna be custom I usually do 30 frames per second you can do 23.976 it's if that's what you're choosing to do uh, the frame size I go with 1080 by 1080 that's basically a square full HD video uh, the audio you can leave that and here, it, you can also leave it, but make sure that it is the same. Depending on your computer, you should you could go down to like 720 by 720. Sequence name is gonna be Facebook profile, no, profile video one. Just click OK. So here you have your timeline that has a square format, which is exactly what we need. To make sure that we are in seven seconds, I usually do a, an adjustment layer, which is located right here. You can just right click, new item, adjustment layer. You don't have to change anything on this screen, just click OK. And if you right click, the adjustment layer and click on speed slash duration go into that and change the duration to 700 that's gonna make it exactly seven seconds long so I'll, I'll just rename it to seven seconds limit now you have to drag this onto your timeline I usually put it on like a video layer three or four something high that you're not gonna use but this is just a placeholder we're not actually gonna do anything with it the only thing we're doing is using this as an indicator of seven seconds so we know exactly how much room we have to edit our video and that's all the purpose when you when you actually run there at the end you could hide it it's not necessary uh, because there's gonna be you know there are no adjustments on it uh, or you can just delete it but it does help um, with the seven second limit and the perfect loop which I'm gonna show you in just a second so here's my first clip that we're gonna use it's from my GoPro it's 2.7 K so there's definitely room for cropping I selected a really small piece and dropped it on the timeline made some changes in the effects control to position it correctly where I want it and this is basically how it looks it's uh, it's a really simple clip I'm driving and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the perfect loop so the way I do that is I select this clip I have this clip and I basically cut it in the middle or somewhere in the middle it doesn't really matter where you cut it it just kind of have to be in the middle so cut it 
And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna move the right side of the clip to the beginning of your video, and you're gonna move the left side of the clip to the end of the video. And that's where this comes in handy, because if you have this tool enabled, you could grab this side, put it on the end, grab this side, and put it at the beginning of your video. So this way, you actually have a good starting frame with you in the middle, and then you have a lot of room for editing. And then at the end, it's gonna start over or actually continue. But when you get to this point in the video, and you're watching it, and watching it, and watching it, and you reach the end, Facebook is going to basically jump back to the beginning and basically looping the video. But because it's a clip that was cut in the middle, the frames are going to be perfect. So you have a perfect loop right here. And now all you have to do is fill in the blanks and then upload your video. And here is the final edit that I just put together in a couple minutes. It has our loop clip on both ends, which is going to be perfectly looped by Facebook. And in the middle, I put in a couple drone shots and did some color corrections so the colors are saturated and the contrast is good I'm walking with the drone following me and then it jumps back to the car so at this point you can do an export you just have to go to the end of it and hit O and go into file export media and we are going to export this and h264 is good match source hybrid rate is good and what you have to look at is you have to make sure that you're actually exporting in 1080 by 1080 and it is exactly seven seconds as you can see here after the export upload it to your phone where you can actually set it through the facebook app and then have a video on all platforms that support it if the platform doesn't support it you can pick a frame before you actually upload it and that's going to be just a still like a regular old picture that's it. Thank you for watching.